What's up YouTube? It's been a while since I posted a video, but when we left off I was trying to improve my 60 foot times. We installed some shocks and struts and some low end springs to help improve our setup. I started to notice that the car was running really lean upon startup, but seemed to be stoich once warm. This led me to believe that we had a possible exhaust leak before the O2 sensor. I started with a cold car and a bottle of soapy water. I sprayed down all the matting surfaces to search for leaks upon startup, and the results were horrendous. Bubbles formed at every connection but the wastegate. The head to exhaust manifold inlet had leaks, the exhaust manifold outlet to the turbine housing inlet had leaks, and the turbine housing outlet to the O2 housing inlet had leaks. It's a wonder something has not yet went horribly wrong based off of false O2 readings. The exhaust manifold to turbine housing flange is currently equipped with a solid stainless steel 7 cm gasket. This is a horrible idea for a gasket due to its inability to actually provide any sealing characteristics whatsoever. The stainless steel is not allowed to flex, bend, or crush without cracking. It is basically like having both flanges surfaced and bolting them together, but you add the gasket that must also be true and flat as well, or the gasket itself could cause a leak. As for the other two sealing surfaces, I am uncertain about the cause of their leaks. In the past, I have had issues with the matting surface of the O2 housing inlet, but the head and the manifold have never had any issues. Time to get the exhaust manifold and turbo pulled out and find out where the problem lies. The camera took one for the team on that one, deflecting the wrench away from my face. You may be wondering what the RTV is for around the bung welded in the pan. I assure you that the bung is not held into the pan by RTV only. It's completely off topic but stands out like a sore thumb. I was tracing the oil leak from the vicinity so I applied some RTV to rule out the weld. It turned out to be the AN connection which was fixed by simply tightening it another eighth turn. I have just been too lazy to clean it off so it's still there.
Once the assembly is pulled and separated, inspect the surfaces for any discoloration that may lead to the origin of the leak. Inspect the gasket itself as it may tell a story of discoloration, cracking, or warpage. You can see the discoloration on the O2 housing inlet flange here. It's a pretty large and wide gap. Looking with your eyes will not always do the trick. The best way to test how true a flange may be is to use a straight edge and a set of filler gauges. We start with a 4,000th filler gauge, which is about as thick as a sheet of paper or most soda cans. Four thousandths fits like butter on the right and left sides. This leads me to believe that there is a high spot in the middle here. The rest of the flange checks out with the four thousandths, so it just seems to be that side that's high. The O2 housing outlet is not detrimental to O2 reading since it's past the O2 sensor in the exhaust stream, but we might as well check it while it's off the car. It checked out to be flat. Let's see just how bad the distortion is on the O2 housing inlet. We continue testing with the filler gauges in one thousandths increments. We make it to the seven thousandths filler gauge and it starts to drag a little. We try eight thousandths and it doesn't fit, so seven thousandths it is. I pick back up with the four thousandths filler gauge and repeat the process on the turbine housing inlet and outlet. Both flanges check out flat, so I move on to the even smaller two thousandths filler gauge and check again. No distortion there and the flanges are flat. Now it's time for the exhaust manifold outlet and inlet. We start with the 2000s filler gauge to find the outlet is flat. With this information I can only assume that my assumption about the solid stainless steel gasket is true. The inlet, however, shows some distortion that will need to be corrected. Looks like I need to order some gaskets and have some flanges resurfaced. Stay tuned.